Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fitchick 777 and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for Renee Bouquets. Now right now I am in the midst of crafting for some Christmas craft bazaars. So uh, my next couple of projects coming up will be things that I am creating for those bazaars to uh, sell. And um, this project I decided to make a couple of kind of winter themed shabby chic wall hanging so i'm going to move my sign out of the way adjust my camera a little bit and show you what i came up with okay let's go up just a little bit and down a little bit i made um they're both the same type of uh wall hanging but i just kind of did some different embellishments on each one, but pretty much the same design. So I will go ahead and bring this in first. Okay, just a little bit more. So as you can see, I just think it turned out super sweet. I created a little mitten, um, a little mitten wall hanging. And the mitten is just from the top of the mitten down is a about nine and a half, nine and three quarters inches long. And to the widest part of like the little thumb area is about eight inches across. Now this particular mitten, I mean, I just free handed it. Um, let me turn it over so you can just see the design a little bit better. So there it is right there. Just did a little free hand of, of a mitten. Um, and then what I did, it is three layers of quilt batting you can find it you know any you know like joann's or walmart or something like that and it's it's rolled up just like i one one single layer of batting and what i did is i freehanded the mitten like i said and then i cut three layers and then the inner layer is just probably about oh a quarter inch shorter than the actual length all the way around just so it acts like a stuffing inside so it's a little bit thick and then I have some of this thread it's kind of a gold and white thread and I just did a cute little uh, country uh, stitch kind of going all the way around okay just to kind of give it that little bit of a country feel and I chose the batting because as you can see it just looks real fuzzy um, you know, and I wanted it to look like a well-used, like, mitten a little bit more shabby versus getting, like, fleece or, or a felt, okay? And so let me turn it over, and we'll just kind of go from, you know, the bottom up here, and we'll get a little bit closer look. This was really fun to create pretty quick, so that's a bonus. I only created two, so whoever gets them, gets them. Okay, so let's start out at the very top. This top little hanger that I'm using to hang them with is from Renee's shop. Many of you may recognize it. These are the Tim Holtz Ideology Display Hangers, and they come with these cute little clips. As you can see, now the hangers actually come in a silver color. Um, I took both of mine and spray painted them white. And as you can see, I covered mine on the front, um, but it has like this little metal uh, plaque area. Uh, and it comes with, just to show you, it comes with little blank labels that you can put on the plaques. You can write, you know, on yourself on it. And then it comes with these little epoxy stickers. Okay, I'll save these for use for something else. Um, but I just wanted it blank, and of course I just covered it with some flowers, and I'll tell you about those in a minute. So that's what I did with that. There's a set of two in Renee's shop. Um, as we come down the mitten, this first layer, there's two layers of lace here, and this first layer is a beautiful trim. It's a Renee Bouquet's lace. Um, it's about two and a quarter inch wide, and it's called the Sweet Daisy Lace. And as you can see, it is just as sweet as a daisy. I love it because it's just real pretty. It's really embroidered and uh, dimensional as you see here um, so I placed that on the first layer and then the second layer this lace is just for my stash and it's just a white lace and what I did is I used Prima's color bloom spray in the soft teal Renee carries the color bloom sprays in her shop just uh, you know change the color of the white lace uh, to kind of 
coincide with the colors used on the mitten. Okay, and then as we move down the mitten, you can kind of see in the background here some little dots. What I did kind of just in sporadic areas around the mitten is I used a Prima mask that has like some little dots on it. And also my other one, I used a different stencil and I'll show you, of course, is a, is a deco art stencil, a little bit different dots, uh, shapes. But anyway, I used that in the Prima Art Basics uh, light paste to just kind of stencil on just a little soft texture onto... Or you can see it down in here too, just a little soft texture onto the mitten. Okay, and then the first layer, which is obviously a little bit hard to see here on camera, you can see just a tiny scallop right there. The first layer, uh, what I did, the beautiful um, Prima Metal dies. We all have seen these and love these. Renee carries this die in her shop. It's called the Parisian Lace. And so I use this die with um, a 6x6 sheet of Prima Sweet Peppermint collection that Renee also carries in her shop. I love this collection because not only is it uh, Christmassy, um, I believe this is a Frank Garcia collection, not only is it Christmassy, but it's just kind of a winter um, collection, very multi-dimensional, really cute, double-sided, cute colors. Uh, you know, you've got the soft greens, um, you've got the really, you know, obviously the reds, you've got pinks, uh, yellows, creams. So really, uh, you know, if you didn't want to use the Christmas side of the paper, and you use kind of the B side, you could use it after the holidays. So I love it. It's a very uh, multi-use uh, holiday paper pad, and I just think that's so sweet. Um, I think Frank came up with a really cute collection there. And uh, like I said, um, Renee carries that in her shop with a lot of the flowers and things from the collection. So use this die, use that paper collection, and that's my first layer on the mitten. Then right underneath that, obviously you're not going to be able to see it. You can see, again, just a part of it because you all know how I layer. This is just a little uh, snowflake I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a snowflake ornament. It's a two-pack snowflake ornament, and I layered that underneath just to kind of carry with the snowflake theme. You can kind of see a little bit there, okay? Um, in the three corners, these are just wooden snowflakes from my stash, and I painted it with the Tim Holtz Distress uh, Spray Stain in White Picket Fence. Renee carries Tim Holtz Distress uh, Spray Stains in her shop, so use that to color those up. Um, let's see, and going down the line here, here in the corner, I've got a little Prima uh, corner resin piece there, little corner molding old old from my stash um, this is a little Michael's bin dollar uh, fifty package of resin frames um, let's see here is I think it's an old Stampin' Up metal frame so I've got that all those came from my stash so those are kind of on top of the snowflake and then I begin layering on top of that this is a Renee Bouquet's chiffon flower just gorgeous she carries they come in a set of three she carries many colors this is the celadon color it's kind of like an aqua um, teal color I I would more say it's a teal color but you could kind of make it in in the um, oh what was I saying aqua and teal is kind of the same mint green because I paired this with kind of some mint greens as well and it works beautifully but it kind of is a more of the teal colors it comes with the beautiful pearls and blings on there um, and then I layered some flowers this beautiful mulberry flower is from Renee's shop and she carries all sorts of colors these come in a set of 13 um, on the both of these projects I've used the white and uh, the ivory kind of mixed Okay, and then the flowers in the set of 13 come with different flowers. Let me show you kind of both of my sets here. I've kind of, you know, they're both kind of used up. But you get the bigger flowers, you get some smaller flowers, you get some roses. Um, I'll show you in here, you get some kind of like daisies, you get leaves with it. They come in these beautiful large organza bags, so just beautiful presentation. Um, these are the ivory, these are in the white. I just love them because you get so many different varieties of flowers and leaves. You get some of these kind of uh, cottage 
actually these aren't the cottage I think these are like wild roses or um, shoot it's not even that cabbage roses can't remember anyway you get a very um, nice variety of different flowers and designs and leaves in these packs okay so I layered that in there and then I also layered you know how I love my rolled roses is from Prima rolled roses um, probably from Garden Fable collection because I have a lot of packages of those and then I layered in um, down here in the bottom this kind of see and why I said this is like a teal and then the flowers from the sweet peppermint collection are kind of a little bit of more of a green hue but they go together okay so you can see that's kind of more of a green hue but they work with the aqua color chiffon flowers um, so that's what is down there is this color of sweet peppermint flower um, like I said earlier Renee's shop carries a lot of the sweet peppermint flowers in her shop and then down at the bottom and I'll show you up here is another flower from the mulberry flower set kind of these little daisies here I guess I'll call them probably wrong on that I don't know my variety flowers very well anyway and then I layered some up here on the hanger just to kind of you know um, bring into the flowers down here so right down here is another one of the little flowers and then I've got tucked in here and up here is just, uh, these are just from my stash, little Prima uh, sprays, Prima vines, but they're acrylic sprays. And then from Renee's shop, she's got uh, uh, Prima resin frames in her shop. These are the oval ones. I believe the oval ones she could probably find on her dot .com. Uh, store and then she's got the rectangle ones in her Etsy shop okay so they're like two per set a very large and very small so this is the smaller of the ovals um, and then this is just from my stash just a little uh, Prima uh, metal sign from the home collection I believe Ingville Bohm says love on it of course um, down here I've just got some gems from my stash kind of poking out there kind of you know look kind of that crystal look you know like snow is kind of crystallized and and very beautiful so I was kind of trying to bring in that effect and also to coincide in with the beautiful glitter glass um, butterflies that are from Renee's shop that she creates all by hand this particular butterfly tiny treasures uh, tiny treasures are smaller in size come five to a pack the regular butterflies and or dragonflies come three to a pack the regular size but this one is just beautiful um, ice is what it's called it's just kind of a clear glitter glass all her butterflies you can uh, pick the color of stamen that you would like on it she gives you four or five different uh, color choices okay um, and then this other butterfly from Renee's shop again the tiny treasures and these are called the snow white butterflies just beautiful and both of these have the silver antenna on it and then down here at the bottom underneath, uh, this is just a Prima uh, Memory Hardware by Frank Garcia. Just a little door knocker there I kind of tucked inside. I've got a little, uh, you know, I don't know what you call it, like just a little sheer bow here that I made. And then I added just from my stash, got these from Hobby Lobby, little... Uh, kind of crystallized gems kind of remind me of the little Prima gems that you can buy I've got one there one up here and then one over here and then kind of tucked in since you couldn't really see the paper collection from the doily because you know I layered and covered up I wanted to just use a little piece of the um, collection here um, and I just kind of distressed the edges with the Prima distress tool and um, put that in there it says let there be peace on earth and in the collection that came right from in the very back you got these pieces that you could cut out like if you wanted to make an, a little advent calendar and you and you also in this pack you get um, letter stickers sticker letters letter stickers um, you get some really kind of stiff journaling cards isn't it it's just a cute collection I'm sure we all know about it but or have seen it but those of you that haven't and then this is the kind of cut aparts another sheet that I used and cut apart you get two or three of these with different designs on them throughout the collection um, and this one here is the one that I cut apart okay 
All right, perfect for cards, things like that. So anyway, there is my first mitten. I think I covered everything on that. Down a little bit more. I think it turned out super cute. Um, I hope other people like it as well as I do. If not, and I bring them home, now they become gifts. <laughs> okay, so let me bring over the second one. Like I said at the beginning, very similar in design, just used a couple of different products, but pretty much the same. So it would be easier for me to get multiples done. So there is this one. Okay, and of course I'll bring it up closer for you. Same thing, same mitten design. Um, stitched it the same on the outer edge. Again, used uh, the second of the um, Tim Holtz Ideology uh, display hangers, painted it white, added some of the sweet peppermint flowers there at the top. Again, added one of the flowers from Renee Bouquet's uh, Mulberry Flower Collection. Um, again, I used that beautiful sweet daisy lace down at the bottom. And then again, this lace is from my stash and I just sprayed it with the Prima Color Bloom spray again in the soft teal. Okay, and as it came down the line, did the same thing. This is the different stencil though on this side that I did. They're almost like a, a little hexagon shapes. Let me bring it down in. And this reminds me, I forgot to show you on the first one. I'll go back to it. Um, and I'll show you here as well. Uh, let me go back to it real quick to kind of make the mitten sparkly. Let me bring it right up here. Throughout the area here, I used some Rene Bouquet glitter glass, the regular glitter glass in diamond, and then also some Rene Bouquet glitter glass that is shard and it's in pearl. Okay, and I put that kind of in various areas around the project, both mittens. And let me show you, I've got them right down here. Now forgive me my, which was a little bit hard to pick out, but my diamond um, has actually got some teeny tiny mini, mini, mini black beads in it that came from Renee's shop. She carries their little black micro beads. It got mixed in somehow, some project I was working on. Um, so you see the little black beads in there, but this is the diamond, the regular uh, glitter glass, okay? And then this is the pearl, the shard, glitter glass, okay? And then this one, this one, um, as you can see, it's got fuzzies in there, <laughs> cat hair. This one fell all over my carpet, and I'm scooping it up like a madman because I, you know, don't want to lose any of it. But anyway, it just looks like shard, and I thought it looked like really neat kind of a snowy effect, so I put some of that on both of the mittens. Okay, all right, so there's that. So back to this mitten. So again, I did, and you could see the masking all over the mitten. Again, here you can see a little bit more of the die cut with the that Parisian lace Prima die um, and using the Sweet Peppermint collection again. Okay, um, again with the wooden snowflakes from my stash, I painted with the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Spray Stain Picket Fence. Okay. Let me go up it just real slow. I don't think I did that to start with. Okay. So at the very tip top right here, this is some cute Rene Bouquet butterfly trim. Um, it comes in a yard. You could cut the little butterflies apart. They're so adorable. Have the little antenna on it and everything. Okay, just so cute. I love to cut it apart and use versus using it as like a piece of lace. Um, so there's that. Um, again, used, you know, the $1.50 resin frame, $1.50 bin at Michael's. Um, these are sweet peppermint uh, flowers Renee carries in her shop. Just really the fabric flowers, and they have the real pretty gem in the center. And these are called Christmas morning flowers. Um, let me see if I have them right down here or a version of a few of them left. Here they are. Let me grab them real quick. They come in a package of six, I believe. Yeah, a package of six. But they look like this. Really cute fabric flowers with the gems in the center. Okay, so that's what those are. 
And then as you come down the line, I again put in the Renee Bouquet Mulberry Flowers in here. This is just a Wild Orchid Craft Wild Rose from my stash. Um, this is another set from Renee's Flowers. I've got another Rolled Rose in here uh, from Prima Garden Fable Collection. This angel is from my stash. It's just a Prima Resin Angel. And then on the wings trying to get in there I put some of that shard on the wings so it's probably going to be a little bit hard to see but I've got some of that uh, Renee Bouquet's glitter glass shard on the wings okay added a little sheer bow in here um, again added the little you know memory hardware's piece and tucked in there these little flowers as prima flower trim just from my stash I've got it there and then tucked again over here. And then again, I added just another little cutout from the Sweet Peppermint Collection. It says Merry and Bright. And then, of course, added the little gems again. Okay, and one over here. And then, of course, um, another beautiful Renee Bouquet's Butterfly. This, again, as I said earlier, is called Ice. And then you can see, like, it's sparkling down here. Added the Renee Bouquet's Glitter Glass and Diamond. And all I use is 3D Matte Gel. I uh, paint that onto my project, pour the glitter glass over the top, shake off the excess, and it just leaves this beautiful uh, shimmer. Kind of gives it a romantic, soft touch, I think. Let me see. Oh, and then right over here, of course, this is from my stash. It's a Prima Junkyard Findings uh, light bulb. It says Believe on it. Just to kind of tie it all together. So I think I got all of it. Yep, that's it. Oh, and of course, again, underneath, use the little uh, snowflake from Dollar Tree there. It's actually a pretty big snowflake. I should have got one out to show you, but it's probably about that big snowflake. Really thick, and it's white, and it's glittery. Okay, so those are my two mittens that I created. I think they turned out super cute. I had a blast using, you know, the Sweet Peppermint collection and kind of making shabby chic wintry. I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquets as well as links to my Pinterest and blog so you can see more close-up photos of my projects. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!